Thank you for buying this 10086 garden wagon from Fixture Displays. You can search 10086 on fixturedisplays.com to locate this product. In this short video, we're going to show you all the components and step-by-step -step instructions to put this unit together. This is the main carriage box, four extenders, front and end cap, hardware, four pneumatic wheels, and frame for the front assembly. These are uh, components of the steering assembly. This is the back wheel frame, back wheel axle, and handlebar. We designed and redesigned this unit to be the best functionality and convenience of assembly in the marketplace. The extenders have a pin in the end, and that's your clue to match up the notch, so it's well hidden when not in use. Okay, now we're going to unflip the long panels. And remember, there's one brace, cross brace, has two holes. That should face the user. We call that front. And the end panels have two pins built into the bottom. You simply stick that in. And the front side of the end panel has a handlebar holder. Make sure that hose uh, faces front. Once again, there's a cross brace has two holes that should face front or the user. Now we're going to close the two long panels. And then fasten with thumb screw on each side. This time, we're turning that around to install the front end steering frame assembly. There are four fasten points. You're going to use four screws and four nuts. And use the Allen wrench and a spanner to hold the nut to fasten. Now we're ready to install the axles. For the steering wheel, we have two of those, one on the left, one on the right. Now for this, we're using a washer and a locking nut. Okay, make sure it rotates freely. Now we're going to install the cross brace. Use a screw and a nut. Now we're going to install the uh, steering brace right here. Total three screw holes to fasten. We're going to fasten the one away from you first. And then we're going to install this vertical brace. That's the two holes we mentioned a few times. So match up these two holes, fasten screw, and then fasten the front screw. The back 
wheel assembly free, uh, frame is fairly straightforward because it does not require turning and lesser parts. Now we're going to insert the axle and basically fasten the wheels to it. The wheels are very large and beefy, it's pneumatic, and any of the parts in this cart, if they wear out or got, got bad, you can contact us for replacement. Uh, we don't carry them in the warehouse all the time, but they can always be ordered. Our email address is cs.charliesam at fixturedisplays.com. Remember, these two screws are locking screws. Now we're going to get it ready to install the handlebar. One screw and one nut. And let's say in a season you no longer use the cart, you can, if you want to choose to knock it down, you can easily remove the handlebar for storage. And the carriage itself falls down. I mean the, the box section of this cart. We're going to give you some dimensions. The overall length is 31.5 by 21.5 by 39 inches tall. The box is 28.5 inches long, 19 inches wide, and 9 inches deep, or 9 inches tall. This basket section is extendable. Uh, we're going to show you uh, shortly how that works. Now we're turning this thing, you'll see the wheels uh, turn really well, and that really make it easy to navigate different road conditions. Now we're going to try to take the set panel down. Simply remove the thumb screw to lay the set panel flat and hold it. Pull out the extenders and then fasten. Yeah, pull that extender, line up the holes, and then fasten with one thumb screw. This feature is really nice, allow you to take wider cargo or uh, when you need a flatbed application. The two ends, you may, uh, if you want the uh, cargo bed to be really flat, you're going to want to uh, put a layer of half inch to an inch or so to make it really flat. The bed, when extended, is 36 inches wide and 30 inches long. Any questions, let us know. Please consider leave a good review for us. Thank you.